So in this tutorial we're going to be looking at how to add camera shake to our Cine camera actors in Sequencer. So with your Cine camera actor selected, first of all let's just run through this sequence. You can see it's just a still cam, well sorry it's not still cam, we've got a little bit of animation at the end there. Um, but at the moment of course when we play the camera is just completely still. Um, so in order to add camera shake, if you just select your camera, click on the track and go to camera shake, you'll see it will list all the different kind of camera shakes you have in your scene. You probably don't have any at the moment, so the first thing we need to do then is actually create one. So I'm going to go back to my content folder, go to camera shake folder that I've created, and if I could just right click in the empty space, go to blueprint class, and if you go to all classes down here, you'll find camera shake. And if you just hit select, I'll make you a new blueprint. We'll just call this shake test. Now if we double click on that, you'll see it'll open up with all our different options. So let's put this straight onto our camera so that we can see it. Um, so go to camera shake, shake test, and you'll see that drops that straight into our camera shake um, track. So if we just try playing, we're not going to get anything and that's because the default settings basically have no camera shake on them. So the first setting is this oscillation duration. That basically defines how long your camera will shake for. So if you read the um, instructions there, less than zero means it'll shake indefinitely and zero means no oscillation at all and obviously we can define a length of time as well. So I'm just going to put, say, four seconds of camera shake. Now we're blending time. This is obviously, we'll put this to 0.5 and 0.5. So it will, it will start with no shake, and then after 0.5 seconds, it will be on full um, oscillation. And the same with blend out time. It'll start on full, blend, full oscillation, and then when it gets to the end of the sequence, it'll have none. So if we play again, we shouldn't get any camera shake, even though we've set that up. And that's because if we look at our oscillation settings, everything's set to zero. So let's just try chucking some variables in there. So ampl amplitude refers to the strength. So you've got pitch, yaw, and roll. So if the camera is rolling left and right, like so, that refers to the strength in which it will roll to the left and the right. Um, again, though, this, I don't think we'll get anything in this. Oh, let's save it first. And the reason we're not getting anything is... Oh, maybe a little bit. Um, the reason we're not really getting anything is because we have frequency set to zero. So although this defines the strength, like how much it's going to roll or pitch up and down, um, the actual frequency is set to zero. So let's try putting that onto one for each of these as well. And then save. Oh, we could probably do a shrink in this end of it. Now if we hit play, we should find we get a little bit of camera shake. There we go, just a touch. There we go, so we're starting to get some now. Now it's not very frequent, but it is pretty large. So what I'm going to do here is just reduce down my amplitude. Let me try 0 0.3, 0 0.3 in each one. I'm going to increase the frequency a bit as well, say 5, 5, 5. We'll go back here. And we can see we're starting to. get something like a bit more we want. Again, I think that amplitude needs to come down even more. Maybe we'll try 0 0.15. And we'll put the frequency up even more as well, maybe to eight. And just hit save. And we can see that also fades out at the end as well. So obviously with our oscillation duration, let's just try setting that lower. So we'll put that to two. And now we find when the camera shake starts, it blends in and then it fades out like that. And it only lasts for two seconds. 
So if we want that to be longer, so six seconds, we will need to expand this out as well. It's one thing it doesn't seem to would be nice if this, um, a feature of this is if I drag this in to here, it'd be nice if this automatically set to six seconds, but it doesn't do that. And we can see that will gradually fade out. Um, so that's kind of the basics really of, uh, of your camera shake. Like, um, yeah, frequency controls the speed, amplitude controls how far it tilts um, or rotates to each, each way. And oscillation duration defines how long it's going to, um, uh, how long it's going to shake for. And obviously if we, just to show you here, if I put minus one into this, and drag this out to here so the shake is covering the whole sequence, we'll see that the camera will just shake continuously for that sequence. Um, the other useful thing about setting that to zero um, to minus one is you'll have no camera shake here, but you will have camera shake within that time frame that you've assigned there. Unfortunately, it does mean that I'm pretty sure that means that that has no impact anymore, unfortunately. Okay, so that's the basics of camera shake. Um, obviously, you can make numerous ones. Um, oh, in fact, there might be one more thing I could show you. Um, so at the moment we have this shape we've just created here and we'll just maybe like lump that in there. If you wanted to, you could also add another camera shake. <coughs> Let's put a slow one on here. And you can see, so you can actually stack these up and layer them up. So if you wanted to have a basic camera shake on your camera there, like I have, which is a very, very low. And then when you hit that one, it starts to go more and then goes down again. So you can actually stack up camera shakes and have multiple um, effective camera at the same time.